Hello, this is Ken. Okay, I can't see without my glasses. Good morning. I'm the founder of Stupa Mudra Energy Channeling or Stupa Qigong. What I love about energy work is that we can channel energy of our fingers, our palm, our knuckle, our wrist, and the side of our hand. Over 21 energy points on the hand. The flow of energy relaxes us. The flow of energy helps us heal and rejuvenate. And the flow of energy helps us go into meditation and stillness. And we get to exercise our muscles. So with stupid energy work, it's easy and powerful because we take energy directly from source. It's unlimited supply of energy. And you can do it anywhere. You can do it when you first wake up in bed. So just listen to my voice. I give you transmission to do this practice where you can channel energy out of your fingers and palm with intention because we're all connected to source. We are oneness. We're all connected to each other. As your teacher, I now give you this power to do this by just listening to my voice. Rub your hand together. Make circle movement. Set intention for the energy to come by your finger and palm. Allow the energy to flow out your finger and palm and circle it in your body. Your mind is powerful. Your mind controls your connection to source. They're called energy portals or energy points. In Chinese, energy points are called chakras. I mean, that's yoga. <laughs> In India, energy points are called chakras. In Chinese, they're called acupuncture points. Place your focus in your finger palm. The flow of energy causes the feeling of tingliness, magnetism, warmth or heat due to friction on the skin, or for some people, coolness. So it's easy, rub your hand together, make circle movement, and allow the energy to circulate with movement. Now put your hand together, touching opens up the energy portal. So now the energy come out your finger and thumb, and it's circling your body. We want to make circle movement to circulate the energy. You make a fist, the energy come out your fingers and palm, because your finger is touching your hand. And with intention, the energy come out your palm and circling your body. So while you're watching the news or reading an article on Facebook, where many people are addicted to their cell phone or find it convenient to watch YouTube videos in the morning as part of your lifestyle, you can still do Qigong energy work. And this method is very powerful because you get it directly from source. You have direct connection to source. And you just move your palm, your hand, and circular mo movements. And you get to exercise your muscles. The slower you go, the better, because you're practicing feeling. You feel the flow of energy. It feels like water or wind. If you're sensitive, it's easy. It's okay if you don't feel the flow of energy because it takes practice. That's why it's called energy work because you have to work for it. You have to practice. But the most important is that you feel relaxed and you feel rejuvenated with movement. The flow of energy improves cellular communications. It helps the body get back to balance. It balances the yin and yang. You can do long breath in, long breath out. You can move up and down, 
Because remember, you have over 240 muscles to exercise. You want to exercise your muscles, your arms. You want to move your joints. You can go backward, move your joints, your wrist. And with the fist or close hand, the energy builds up on the hand. So it's easy to feel the energy. It's easy to feel your hand heats up. You have healing hands. That's why I love doing stupid Qigong because it's easy and powerful. If, that, if it's not easy, then people get lazy and don't do it. That's the advantage of doing stupid Qigong versus the other Qigong. Plus, we can do energy healing. You can do hands-on healing, just like Reiki. But here, the energy comes out of the finger and the palm. Allow the energy to go into your head. As the energy flows to your head, it causes vibration and friction. You might feel some warmth and heat, and you feel relaxed. It's good for brain health. The nice thing about stupa energy work is we can channel energy out of over 108 energy points. And it's almost seven minutes. So the more you practice, the more you find your heart open up for love and joy. In meditation, you have a realization that energy, chi in Chinese, ki in Japanese, prana in yogic science, energy, chi, is love. When you meditate, the flow of energy will guide you to meditation. The flow of energy will calm down your nervous system, your vagus nerve, and your mind naturally without medications, without side effects. And you go to meditation state. If you relax and you go to stillness, no thoughts. You have no thoughts for three seconds or three minutes. No judgment. Then you go to stillness. Meditation and energy healing is great for your health. The flow of energy also have information or data and it can change DNA. It's divine light. So I'm just giving you an introduction to energy work, energy healing. And in meditation, your eyes look funny. So you look at my eyes right now, <laughs> it looks kind of funny because I'm in stillness. Remember, when you do moving hand meditation, in the beginning, you can do long breath in, long breath out, because you need oxygen in your body. And relax any tension in your neck, your shoulder. You practice mind and body awareness. Stress causes constriction of the muscles, and that blocks the flow of energy and the black circulation of your blood and oxygen. You have an energy body. Without energy, your life force, your body would die. So while you're watching the news on your phone or reading Facebook, you can easily channel energy out of your hands. You can switch hands and rub your hand together, make circle movement, allow the energy to come out of your fingers and palm. The flow of energy causes the feeling of heat, warmth, tingleness, or magnetism. For some people, you might feel coolness. Then you can do up and down, or you can just go in circle movement. And exercise your muscles and move your joints. And the slower you go, the better. And allow the energy to circulate in your body. 
and it rejuvenates you and you feel joyous and happy in the morning you don't need to drink caffeine or coffee it's great for your health and you experience healing and just practice mind-body awareness So it's powerful and easy. The other Qigong, you have to stand up and do movements. In traditional Qigong, we take in the energy from the heaven and the earth. We cultivate energy. And we take energy from the trees, the planets, many different places you can cultivate energy. And the energy can come down into the crown chakra. Taoism and traditional Qigong is very powerful, but it takes a lot of practice. And for most people, when the beginners, they have to spend weeks in training before they can channel energy, because they have to take the energy in and store it in the Dantian. They have to build up the energy. Here, we have direct connection to source the energy come out of the energy portals or energy points. So you have an unlimited supply of energy. You are the source too. Because you're one with source. You're one with the universe. You're divine. Being divine means that you're full of love, compassion, kindness, generosity, wisdom, and service. You use your hand for service. You use your hand to cook food for your friend to eat or your family or feed the homeless. You use your hand to do energy healing, to do remote energy healing, to help people heal. You use your hand to build houses, to make art, to make music, to build whatever you want to innovate. So chi is love, chi is joy. If you have stress because of coronavirus, you have to close down your business, you have money problem, you have tons of credit card debt, it's all okay. You deserve the right to feel healthy, to feel happy, to feel joyous to come back in meditation to your true nature. And you get clarity. And then you can problem solve your credit card debt, your financial problem because the government shut down your business. Your life is important. Don't feed the stress. Don't feed the depression and anxiety. Because in America, we have a high rate of people with suicidal thoughts Billions of people take antidepressants and have all kinds of side effects. And the worst of side effects is sexual dysfunction. And then they get into divorce because they can't have sex or make love. It's horrible. You don't have to go there. Take care of your health. Do energy healing and qigong and exercise. Your body has innate ability to heal. Feel relaxed. Feel rejuvenated. Practice. I'm available to coach you and to activate you online or in person. It's more powerful if you get coaching for me or activation because the energy goes over the phone or Facebook Live or Zoom or videos and we have a better connection. But just thinking about me, my name is Ken. I'm the founder of Stupa Energy Work. Just thinking about me, you tune in to Source. You get connected to me, your teacher. And I'm connected to Source. So we are one. Oneness. <laughs> I'm not God. <laughs> I'm not a Google. <laughs> I'm just Ken. I'm a human being <laughs> who do my practice. And I thank you all my Buddhist teachers meditation teachers, shamans, and all the people who help me feel connected to Source.
just tune in to source. So I lose track of time when I'm in meditation. If you practice, you will experience joy and love instead of stress. The flow of energy heals us. Because I have PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety, depression, you name it. All kind of chronic illness. And I experience all sorts of healing. And it's really amazing because our body is divine. We have innate ability to heal. And also our body has an expiration date. We're all meant to die. The moment you're born, <laughs> you're going to die. <laughs> And we come back home. So don't be afraid of death. Come home. We are an energy body. Our body is a luminous energy body. According to the shamans. In meditation, you have the realization. So my students can see the energy body. You have an energy exoskeleton. Your life force. As long as your energy is strong, all your acupuncture points and chakras are balanced, you feel divine, you feel light. The nice thing is about stupid energy work, we can channel energy our back, our neck, our head, armpits, feet. Right now the energy is coming on my back, it's vibrating, it's heating up. Touching opens it, so you can make a mudra. Cut my finger and palm, my knuckles. For your home, you have your finger and palm activated. It's coming out my neck. Our mind controls this, come out my back. So we can rejuvenate. But we want to do movement so we can balance out the energy of the body. We do stagnation of energy, fatigue, tiredness. Depression is all stagnation of energy. You want the energy to circulate to different organs. And the slower you go, the better. Because as beginners, you want to practice feeling the flow of energy. It's okay, don't feel. But your hand will heat up. My hand is sweating right now. So I'm losing weight. <laughs> Sweating is good for your health. <laughs> it detoxes your body. So it's just 17 minutes talking to you. So while you're looking at your Facebook, watching the news or YouTube, it's very easy to do moving hand meditation and go into stillness, no thoughts, or relaxation response. When the energy flows, it causes your body to feel relaxed. And now make circle movement with your wrist. Set intention for the energy to go out of four acupuncture points or chakras on your wrist. Allow the energy to circulate. And as you move your wrist, Stretching movement causes the energy to flow out of the energy portals, the acupuncture points. And you feel more relaxed. The flow of energy causes relaxation response. Practice relaxation. And put it on your body. Now you're channeling energy into your body. If you're more relaxed, if you're, if you're sensitive, you can feel the flow of energy. It's like wind or water. You're doing energy healing your body. And it causes friction on your wrist, so you might feel heat. Or for some people, you might feel coolness in your body. Just observe, practice mind-body awareness. You're doing energy healing. So I lose track of time. It's 90 minutes and 47 seconds. If you're interested in supporting my work or sharing the Stupa Mudra energy channeling or Stupa energy work with over 1,800 people, 
for free so we can make the world a better place to have more healthy people, for people to open their heart for love and joy. I accept donations to support my work and to pay off my credit card debts. And I'm available for coaching. In person, Zoom, Facebook, video. Just contact me on Facebook or you can email me kanstupa at gmail.com C-A-N-S-T-U-P-A at G-M-A-I-L dot com. Canstupa at gmail dot com. C-A-N-S-T-U-P-A at G-M-A-I-L dot com. That's P is in pig. Oink, oink, oink. Canstupa at gmail dot com. So practice. Do hands on healing. You can put the hand on your heart and allow the energy to help you heal naturally. It reduces blood pressure, you feel relaxed, you experience all sorts of healing. Your body has innate ability to heal. It's like charging your iPhone. It rejuvenates you. So practice. And feel joy and love when you first wake up and you don't need to drink coffee. You don't need caffeine. You don't need to pollute your body so it's 22 minutes. Bye-bye. <laughs> we lose track of time when the energy flows. See how simple that was? But of course, we're going to do over all the Qigong movements. So there's over 1,000 Qigong, and you have over 240 muscles to exercise. But if you're lazy, you can just do this in the morning. It's better to do it in silence. But we all love our news and YouTube and Facebook in this digital lifestyle. While you're holding your cell phone, you can do energy healing in Qigong. To your health, my friend. Do the Stupa Mudra for relaxation, healing, and stillness. I bless you, my friend. May you heal, may you be happy, may you rejuvenate. Okay, so it's 23 minutes. Bye-bye.